There's a class for every different style of fighting that might appeal to you. So if you've ever watched a Hollywood fight scene and thought, damn, that looks so cool, then there's something in this game for you. Frank here, and we're live with the game show. Today, we are checking out a brand new VR game that is coming out to the Oculus Rift and Oculus Quest. It's called Iron Lights VR. I got the dev here with me. Hey, why don't you say hello, E. McNeil. Hi, uh, I'm Ian McNeil. No, thanks so much for having me. Uh, <laughs> happy to talk. Awesome, man. Happy to have you here. Now, forewarned to everybody watching, I'm a dummy and I forgot to record the first interview, so we're doing this all over again. He has been a lovely, lovely guest because this is the second time doing this interview with me, but we're going to have a blast doing it. Now, E, I don't mind. Tell me all about this game. What is Iron Lights VR? Um, so, Iron Lights is a VR uh, melee combat game. It's like a dueling game where you'll face off against one or two or three opponents and uh, pick your weapon of choice and then uh, fight in this giant arena full of cheering crowds. Basically, it's trying to solve the, the common problems of VR melee combat, which is if you're like swinging a, a virtual sword and it hits something, then your hand doesn't stop. And the controller also doesn't feel like a sword. So usually the best thing you can do in a VR sword game is just wiggle it at the other guy and you'll hit <laughs> them a million times. Um, so yeah, we were trying to solve that problem. And so there's a bunch of mechanics in Iron Lights uh, that are like, when you hit something with your sword um, or whatever weapon it is, the weapon shatters. And then uh, you there, that way there's no disconnect between your sword position, and your hand position. You have to swing it back behind you to sort of reload your weapon. And then we also have simulated physics on all of the weapons. And uh, in melee combat, time slows down for a bit. So you have a little bit more time to react. It's more a game of like trying to read your opponent. So we're trying to make VR swordplay that actually feels like fluid and skillful instead of just kind of like a hack and slash game or like a you know goofy physics sandbox experience. Yeah, that was my that was my big thing that I felt from it was I went in expecting Jedi lightsaber battles and I left playing Jedi Pokemon in a certain way. You know what I mean? I, so I was, I didn't anticipate kind of going in and it feeling kind of like a move by move and then kind of feeling like I had to recharge and then playing off my opponent back and forth. And I really, really enjoyed that. And I thought it was a great vibe and it really got me going. And it, and it, 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 it hit me into that, oh, just, just one more, one more game. I, I, I can play one more, I got, I got time for one more. And that's the perfect fun feeling, that fun factor that you want out of a great VR game. And like I was telling you earlier, E, I play tons of great VR games, and this one really feels like it was handcrafted by a team that loves it. I know that you worked on it, but how many other people do you have working on this game, have their hands on this, this wonderful VR title? So uh, for about the first year of development, it was, it was just me. Um, trying to prototype and figure out sort of what the game was. And then uh, in about the second year of development, um, I brought on uh, one full-time programmer, my buddy Jeff, who's been helping me like play against me and you know help figure out a lot of the key aspects of the game. Um, and then I also, um, we got a composer who did all of the music and a, a art, an art studio called Super Genius. And uh, they've worked with like Blizzard and Oculus and some really cool studios in the past. And they made just amazing art for the game. So I, I was kind of like the central designer or programmer or like creative lead on it. Um, but there were a lot of really talented people who got their hands on it and did all the stuff that I could never do my, myself. Like we were saying earlier, you were this wonderful captain and you had a great crew, which is the perfect, just the stars aligned. And now you got a quality title out of it. Now you were telling me earlier that this is not your first VR game. No, people might even know you from back in. You said you had, you had some some of the earliest VR games. You want to tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, so I, I have released four other VR games before this one, but they were all uh, kind of small VR strategy games. So uh, the first one that I ever released was uh, Darknet, which was a cyberpunk hacking puzzle strategy game. And that actually came out for the original Gear VR in December 2014. So yeah, you, it's hard to find releases that are earlier than that in like the current generation of like, you know, Oculus and uh, all of that sort of VR revolution. So after that, I, I released a trilogy of small uh, like holographic style um, strategy games where like you have a bunch of little holographic units on like a table or a display in front of you and you're moving them around in 3D. And uh, 
I decided after the Quest came out that I wanted to make something with a lot more physicality and they really made use of the six degree freedom tracking. And so I transitioned to something totally different to making this like very action forward game. Though uh, my dev partner, Jeff, you know, he's told me that like, we kind of accidentally turned it into a strategy game anyway, because there's a lot of like, there's layers of sort of like resource management and like uh, risk reward choices that, you know, try to make it more of a thinking man's fighting game. Mm -hmm. It's not as just punch and punch and punch and then kind of pray that I got better than punches than everyone else. No, I agree with you. I thought you did a great job about that. Now you are the lead designer and the lead programmer on this and your passion seems to be in these kind of strategy games. Where do you find your passion right now? Is it in the code? Is it in the testing? Is it in the player's response? Uh, where are you finding all the love and uh, the, the voodoo and the magic to make more games like this? And I mean, airlines. I consider myself a game designer uh, first and foremost, and then mm -hmm. the programming is where I spend the majority of my time, but it's more of a means to an end. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I think, um, you know, yeah, different creators sort of get their motivation from different places. And for mine, it's from uh, having like a concept in my head of like a feeling of what it's like to, you know, to, to play a certain game. And then the desire to, to share that with other people to like, I want to take this idea in my head that I think is so cool and make you experience it. I want to build a game that will guide you into that, whatever that fantasy was, so that you'll get the same joy out of it that I'm imagining for myself. And um, it's actually, it's been really gratifying working on Iron Light because um, it's the first time where I've worked on the multiplayer side of it myself. And it's, uh, you know, the multiplayer is a major part of the game. And so I actually am I'm beginning to experience um, the game directly with other people in a way that I, I never really did with my previous games. So I don't know, that feels really great. Yeah, we were talking earlier, VR and multiplayer and social work so well. And you're, like you said, your past games were more kind of solo experiences, something to really enjoy, kind of get your head wrapped around with a nice puzzle. But this one, there's tons of people on there. Now, one big thing about VR multiplayer games is you want to find someone else to play with. Now, thanks to the wonderful E here, he set up a Discord, and you were telling me about this Discord earlier. You're just giving us some love. Tell us a little bit about how great this community has been for you. Yeah, I, I was just giving like a love letter to the Discord community. Um, so the story is that I had never really used Discord before. Um, I knew it was a thing though, so I built you know an Iron Lights Discord and tried to figure out how to run it when uh, at the end of our Kickstarter campaign, and. Um, we got a good number of backers who came on and started being very active on the Discord. And they really blew me away with how enthusiastic they were and how um, helpful they were for not only tracking down bugs, but offering a lot of really good gameplay feedback. And so, you know, we've been using that to help sort of uh, balance the game in the updates we've been working on. And um, we also have seen that a lot of people have been using the Discord for finding matches in multiplayer, like you were alluding to. Um, they'll go onto the matchmaking channel and just say, hey, is anybody up for a game? And most of the time there's somebody who's ready to, to fight them. And that's really important, especially in that early beta period where we don't have very many people out there who actually have the game. Um, so yeah, they, they've been able to uh, do a lot of fun competition and even uh, set up a unofficial tournament um, and some like live stream, live commentated, like. Uh, <laughs> you know, happy hours, basically, of people going on, playing the game, uh, showing off in front of a crowd. No, that's awesome. And you were telling me earlier that you can actually export your fights directly from the app in a GIF format, so it's super easy to share, which is really great. I thought that tool was amazing. I didn't get a chance to tell you, you about that one. Really, really cool and something fun that every player is going to be able to do, and it makes it really easy for social shares, which is, I mean, eh, that hurts you at all. Uh, and have you seen players make some really cool stuff with that? Oh yeah, no, they've been um, like, we thought that we had a good understanding of like how you could express yourself in this game and like what kind of moves you could do. And then the players have just consistently shown us that, you know, we are very small minded, that they're way more creative than us. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of fun gifts and videos being posted of people like showing off like great finishing moves or like tricky things that they did. Uh, like one guy um, he uses the, uh, the monks, uh, the monk class who has a staff that turns into like a bow and arrow. And so what he did is he um, he would shoot way up in the air and like watch the air, like trying to get like a high arc shot. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as the other player looks up, he, he just nails him right in the face. <laughs> <when they're looking laughs> he, he called it the oh, major look. Yeah, great. but that, that's just like one thing. There's been a bunch of really great examples. Um, 
And yeah, that's not I, something you could plan for in a traditional fighting game because that's just 100% creativity from the player, which is amazing and something only capable in VR, which is why I personally love VR games. And I'm assuming, which is why you like working on them as well. Um, and that, I mean, that's just where the passion is, which is really, really cool. Now, as I've been saying, this entire interview and the interview that we shot before this, Iron Lights is amazing. I had a chance to play it before we started chatting. I just went through the tutorial and I didn't even want to stop playing. I wanted to keep playing, but I was like, hold on, Frank, you got it. You got to do the interview. You got to, and, and we're going to fight a little bit more after this. So I'll get my fix in there, but it, it truthfully feels fun to play this game and it, feels good and everything connects and that's what you want in a VR game so if I was a player and I was kind of not sure what's gonna sell me on this one what's gonna bring me over the edge what's gonna make me want to play this on my new oculus quest or oculus rift headset so what I'd say is there's five different classes in the game from like the knight who's like a big huge strong dude with a giant two-handed sword and then the duelist has like this really quick, like nimble rapier for doing fencing style stuff. The monk has the staff that makes you feel like you're in a kung fu movie. Um, there's, the idea is that there's a class for every different style of fighting that might appeal to you. So if you've ever watched a Hollywood fight scene and thought, damn, that looks so cool, then there's something in this game for you. And I was going to say that a lot of games give you a handful of characters and it's the same character, but they just look different. This is not that game. Every single one of these characters feels different. The weapon feels different. And like you were saying earlier, you can come up with your own different style, different way to play the characters and it, you will have a blast with them. Now, the base game is coming out tomorrow at, I believe you said 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but is this gonna be a Fire and Forget title or are we gonna see more content coming in the future? Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, updates. We're committed already to continuing to work on the game full time for months and months and months uh, in the future. And we already have a lot of stuff lined up. There's going to be uh, a lot of new cosmetic options, a lot of new uh, gameplay modes, replay features, um, you know, new uh, enemies in the campaign mode. And then I think the thing that everybody's most excited about is that we will be adding future classes and new weapons. So there's been talk about like a, a class that would have a scythe or some sort of pole arm, maybe uh, one with like a whip or a chain, something like that. Some of this we've already prototyped, but there's definitely gonna be some uh, new classes and new gameplay coming out in the future. Nice, and leaderboards, you said, uh, you did mention we were thinking about too, because I know that people like to show off and say, hey, I'm king of the hill right here. So uh, I oh, know yeah. we, yeah, awesome. Good, good. And then uh, my last little thing is, let's say that I'm a player, I'm loving this, and I want to stay informed on everything Iron Lights. Where can I check you out? Where can I follow you? What should I What should I do? So I would say uh, the Discord is a great place if you want to chat about the game or find opponents or just get the announcements about the game. Um, if you prefer, we've also got a Twitter account and a subreddit going and everything, all the important news will be posted there as well. And then lastly, inside the game, in the main menu, there's a news panel that just grabs some text from my web server. And so whenever there is a new patch that just came out or that's gonna be coming out with new features, um, it'll be announced there. So just hop into the game every now and then and you'll be able to stay updated. Awesome, hell yeah, E, thank you so much. Now, real no quick, uh, before we go, and by I say go, E and I are gonna jump into a match. I'm sure, oh yeah, we're gonna go. He's gonna destroy me, I'm sure, I'm sure. But you know what, I'm gonna try my best. Uh, I would like to know any special tips that no one can get, that p players can't get elsewhere, that you, oh, they're only gonna be able to get here, E. Any kind of special secrets that you wanna tell them that, we'll, that we can share with them, game show, uh, Iron Lights tips. Yeah, so, um, this is something that we're gonna to have to put in the game, but it doesn't show up in the tutorial right now. So this is extra special exclusive info. Um, when you attack an Iron Lights, it's limited by your energy, which is like the, a blue bar underneath your health bar. Mm -hmm. um, it regenerates on its own, but it regenerates really slowly at first, mm -hmm. but it accelerates over time. If you don't take hits, then it keeps going faster and faster and faster. So sometimes the best move if you're low on energy is not to like try to charge up really quickly or to mm -hmm. be really aggressive it's to sit back try to block really carefully trying mm -hmm. to avoid taking hits and then you might end up being able to attack more than if you were trying to be super aggressive and just keep going and going yeah no that's a good one yeah because yeah, yeah. i was gonna say you have to do the little energy like uh energy i felt i was I was, I'm not gonna say that I felt like I was in Dragon Ball Z when you're doing the energy oh, yeah. kind of going up to me. Um, and yeah, no, so that's a, th there you go, see? 
to get tips for watching this show. I mean, come on. All right, so now E and I, E and I are gonna duke it out in some iron lights for any of you that want to stick around and watch it, but I definitely suggest that you go grab it right now and we duel. Uh, if you'd like to, you can add me on Oculus the Game Show with an, I, I'm just the Game Show on Oculus, so please add us and we will duel at any time. I'm sure E would like to duel as well uh, and you can just reach out to him in his Discord. He is super, super easy to get a hold of. All right, now let's do this, man. Sounds good. Armory. Hit Armory, all right. And then just uh, pick whatever you think looks pretty. There's uh, some tabs in the top right, and uh, that's just how you customize your look. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I customized myself a little earlier. I gave myself like some silver with a uh, beautiful red flare to it. And I've oh, got perfect. Like... I'm blue, so... oh, 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 so that's perfect. That's what I was assuming. I was like, I bet he's going to run blue. So I'm going to run red so that we can kind of duke it out perfectly. All right. Nice. So after I have made myself look nice and pretty and changed and all my colors. Are. Should uh, I go? Back up to the multiplayer menu and hit edit private game tag in the bottom right. All right, edit private game tag, and I am there now. All right, what is my tag? TGS, lowercase. TGS, awesome. And then done? Yep. And then done. And then hit join private game. And then hit join private game. That was so easy. And then we're searching for private match. And just so everybody that's watching at home knows, right now I am playing on the Oculus Rift. He is playing on the Oculus Quest, which is awesome because we can both play together. Now, I am going to play. Uh, I don't. Oh, do I get to tell what you get, you're get? you playing as or not until we go to no. the. Ooh, I like that. That's sneaky right there. Eh? Very nice. All right. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to tell him, but he's going to find out. And I'm going to find out what he is once we get out to the battle arena. All right. Here we go. We're going into the battle room. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I love this arena for the start. It just feels so epic, kind of like loading out here and just kind of like feeling like the crowd is there for me. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You, sir. That was your weapon. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, how easy should I go on you? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, 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 Hold on, I can pull into you, right? Yeah. And you can't attack me during this time. Only I can attack you, right? Right, if I attack you, it just goes so right now I have to reach my arm behind my back every single time that I smack at him. And now see, now I'm back here. So now I'm in straight defense mode. He's just powered up. Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot. Oh, 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 <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> As you can see, this is a blast. Oh, oh. oh, look at that, look at that. All right, so we can power up here, and you get range shots. See, so we can shoot those at him as well, and you can hold them and power them up. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and then I just get my supercharge. Oh, I gotta be careful though. All right. So as you see, the top line, that blue line, is our power meter, and that is my the red line or the yellow line is my life, right? So. Um, so yeah, it's a. Uh... No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I was just trying to like hit you and show at the same time that they went down. But if I use, what does the red line indicate more so than my like thing? So there's so the yellow and the red. The entire top bar is your health. Okay. And the lighter section is vulnerability. So when I charge up, mm -hmm. oh, let me lose some energy. When I charge up, I convert some of my health into vulnerable, vulnerable health. Oh, and in okay. That section, I take double damage. Oh, okay. just in that section. But then once it gets down to the other section, it'll just go back to normal damage. Okay, exactly. awesome. awesome. That's, that's the reason why you might not want to be like charging up, going Super Saiyan all the time. Because you're going to lose way more damage right away just in case you get hit on you. Oh, exactly. I see. Very nice. And and does every character have like a some kind of long range and short range, right? Yeah, so yours is kind of like pistols. Mine is kind of like this thrusting attack. And then I, oh yeah, I saw one that was like a full like swing that someone could do. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah, I like this. 
and does your, do you have to reset your shield or can your shield block these and you don't have to bring it back? Oh, I see it gets smaller. Oh, that's cool. It gets smaller as it takes hits. So now it's like, and as you put it back behind, will it refresh or is it slowly over time? It just comes back slowly over time. So oh, it's cool. already kind of coming back. Yeah, I like that. The advantage that. to it is I don't have to, uh, I don't have to like bring it back behind. Yeah, me. you just keep it here the whole time. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, this is really cool. All right, yeah. let's get back to me flailing my arms. Shield um, breaks into pieces, but for now it just gets smaller. And like we were saying earlier, as you see that these don't get to go full speed, so you kind of have to go slow with it. He's kind of trying to plan for where I'm going to come next. Oh, oh, and then I get sent back. Oh, oh, now I got to defend. Yeah, so we're limited in how long we can attack by the how much. Oh, oh, so yeah. if, so if so I... Oh, uh, I see, yeah. But every time you attack, it goes down further, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. well, it's, it's just going down over time while I'm here, like, doing this melee attack section. But if you back up out of the way, will it just start? It'll stop, right? Yeah, so, like, see, it's going down. If I retreat, it stops going down. And it'll oh, start regenerating. I like that. Yeah, and then I can just kind of grow mine. Oh! And then kind of power these balls up. Get my giant balls. Boom! But those are very risky, because they're very easy, I'm assuming, to kind of just... Yeah, I mean, oh. I can see where you're shooting. So you're, you're not quite centered. You see, like, this... Little... Oh, that's why, that's why. I was like, what is it doing to me? Okay, so here we go. Yeah. That, that's sort of like the area you're allowed to move in. Yeah, you have to block against. Oh, because there's, like, so many coming at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're fun to block against. Oh, whoa, whoa. and it's it's cool because you have to kind of. I have I don't know when you're actually gonna swipe and it's gonna break. So sometimes you can kind of, as you see, he tricks me, and I think that he's gonna swipe, but he's not. I mean, he's probably just going all day on me. He's like, oh, God, he's such an easy opponent. But I'm trying. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God, it looks so good though, man. And I love that this is cross-play, which is like what we were saying. So he is, like I said, on the quest, and I'm on the Rift S, and I have, I've had absolutely no issues, which is really good to hear and really great. Ah! Oh no, I've run out of time. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, didn't want to be there. I know you did. I saw it going down. Oh. 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 No, I gotta go back. I'm back. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And about how much health do you have in, like, hit points? It's 10,000 total. It's 10,000 total. Okay, cool. So, yeah. That's what I was wondering. About 1%. Okay, nice. Uh, so, so, so these are making, like, headway. If you were to just do long range over time, you're going to get some good shots. And Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. And it slowed down, like you were saying. Oh, man, I'm doing okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, and now at the end, all I get is that tiny little bit of energy. So it'll... So, but you see, the longer you wait, the faster it's going to recharge. It's accelerating. Oh, I see. But I can't actually, like, grow any on my own because I'm so close to dying, right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, sounds like you got the light going on. I was about to say, yeah, let me just stop that. All right, boom, we're good. All right, cool. No, that that was just, like, the alarm from earlier. All right, cool. All right, so... Come on, take one last attack on me, and All right. if, you, uh, if you beat me, you beat me. Alright, hold on, here we go. Oh! Ed gave it to me there, but as you saw, the beautiful particles go everywhere. That was awesome. Oh, and we can save that replay. Yeah, you know I'm going to save that replay. I'm pretty sure he took it easy on me, but what do you think? You gonna grab Iron Lights? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you all for coming through. I'm Frank. This is The Game Show. We'll see you again soon.